John Champion here, and this, the voice of Jim Beckley. Well, thank you. I think this is a brilliant atmosphere awaiting these players today. I can't wait for this one to start. And we're now underway. That's a throw. Pacini for Lyman. Makovshire. Ekopjörg. Minandinho. Ably dealt with by the defence. Real Madrid with the majority of the play so far. Still early. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. Gajajska. Real Madrid still to register a shot on target. Tried to play it through. Chipped over the defence. The flag stays down. Makovshire. Gajajska. Yes, that's a foul. Makovshire, Mirheim, Pacini. Well intercepted, saw the danger and got to it. Sisi. Trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Miguel. Trying to keep it in the face of strong opposition pressure. This goes for a throw-in. Heading towards half-time, and it's still scoreless. Through it goes, aimed at the wing, and it's come through to him. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Walaiman. Mirheim. Vratokov. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got it. The whistle goes and it's the end of the first half. Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. So, it's nil-nil. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. So, the second half gets underway. Lanyo, looking to play on the break. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Mirheim. 
Minandinho. He plays it through. Intercepts the pass. Riesco gets it clear. Surely a goal. Good hand by the keeper. just didn't deal with it and his team has paid the price well, it's the last line of defense and you don't get it right then you're paying a visit to your net so we start again at 1-0 well whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time it's worth the treat Real Madrid may be thinking about substitutions now they've still got two up their sleeve Cici trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. A shot! It's good stuff, John. I like what I'm seeing. Well, it's not like they have any choice but to just pile forward in numbers, Jim, really. Spot on, John. Makovshire. It's out of play for a throw. Good through ball. It's one on one. He's not taking any risks there. The ball was taken. Over the top. Lysentar is there to clear. Oh, yeah. That's a clever ball from him. An interception. Budaleski, Tacchini, Volaiman, Minandinho, Ekobjörg. And he's pretty grateful to get that clear. And they're now bringing on the last of their substitutes. Corner it is. Jako Morak has teed up this corner. Cleared by the defence. And he'll get the shot away here. Well, after that scare, surely they'll manage to keep the ball out of the danger zone. Moments like that are not good for the well-being of their fans, I can assure you of that. We're down to seconds now, that's all that remains. Possibility for a shot. Jako Mora will swing one in. And the ball has been cleared. There is the final whistle. This could be put down as a victory for a set of defenders who all kept their focus for the full 90 minutes. Yeah, and I think after that solitary second half goal, they did what all good teams do and protected their lead. My sincere thanks go to Jim alongside me. And as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you. Thank <laughs> you.
It's John Champion here at the microphone, and alongside me we have a top football analyst in Jim Beckley. Hi John, hi everyone, I'm really looking forward to this match.
So we're off then. Looking to receive the ball. Break could be on. Castolis. Volaiman. Igor Martinez. Ah, good interception. Just what they needed. Volaiman. Weisselm. Salstein. Fair to say, I think a cautious start from both teams. Real Madrid still to register a shot on target. Can he find a finish? Really good try, but no goal. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Igor Martinez. This goes for a throw-in. Plays an early ball in. The quality of the cross is everything in these situations. Knocks it through. Goal now would certainly liven things up. Mirheim is a judge to be offside. to exploit the space. Vratokov. Kastolis. Vratokov. He's looking to find his front men. Off he goes. Over the ball, his teammates waiting. The defence able to get it away. Oh, good challenge, and he's got it back. The whistle goes to signal the midway point of this game. Real Madrid ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. It's nil-nil, so nothing to separate them. Castolis. That's a clever ball from him. And the keeper has claimed it. Nil-nil still. We need someone to inject some life into this game. Kajajska. Salstein. Gradually moving towards a conclusion, still nothing to separate the teams. They get it forward. Real Madrid could be tempted to make changes, with two substitutions still available.
kicks it over the top. Pass cut out. Didn't have any luck with the through ball there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Kajajska. And that's gone straight to the keeper. Castolis. Surely he's in. Shoots here. The keeper gets to it. What an effort that was. He's done very well from that distance. He plays the ball out wide. Through into space it goes. The ball played into the box, but met by no one in the end. Real chance. Van Borad. So that's it. It's all over. Both defences have stood tall throughout this game, not allowing themselves to be breached. Both keepers, I imagine, fairly pleased with that. Well, some matches you just don't want to end, and that was one of them for... It's John Champion here at the microphone, and alongside me we have a top football analyst in Jim Beglin. Hi John, it's been a great buzz here since I sat in my seat. I think this promises something special today. Castolis. Pacini. Knocks it forward. Oh, that's delightful. And it's hoofed away. Van Borad. Surely he can put it away. Can he get there? Here's a chance to get a cross in. Played through. Maybe this time. Real Madrid have scored. I'm afraid that one's down to the goalkeeper. Well, that's one of the first things you learn whether you're a striker or not just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage and sometimes you'll get lucky it'll come your way they've got off to a very good start Vratokov an opportunity for Real Madrid now he crosses into the centre 
ably dealt with by the defence. A volley. He got it on target. Kiko. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. Launches it high. It's a good hit. That was a super ball in, but no success. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper. And what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. By Shoros. Minandinho. Who we've just seen score that goal. Through into space it goes. And no danger there from that cross. And a much needed intervention that was too. Castolis. Maybe now. What about this? He's looking to find his front men. Looking to receive the ball. Break could be on. Cleared away to safety. A header. goes to signify half time well that certainly pleased the fans and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline the question is now can they protect it it's 1-0 and we hope for more of the same in the second half Minandinho surely a goal can he now find a finish away in a fairly no-nonsense fashion. Vratokov by Shoros. Surely he's in. Kiko. The opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. He's going on his own. an hour gone here Real Madrid could be tempted to make changes with two substitutions still available he's bursting forward well, I think it was a little difficult for him to pick exactly the right option there there were so many in the box I don't think we should be totally surprised that he actually went for the shot in the end can he find a finish? Oh, he's hit the post. He scores. It's a two-goal lead now. That would have to go down as one of the sweetest strikes I think I've ever seen. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that in. Now it's 2-0. Well, at 1 0, this game was very much in the balance, but at 2 0, they ought to be able to defend this lead from here. Forward it goes. The danger was there. He dealt with it well. Salstein. Looking to play on the break. Well intercepted. Saw the danger and got to it. Gajajska. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. By Shoros. Full time whistle within sight. Salstein.
Pacini. Minandino. Driven in. And they escape imminent danger. That's it. The match is over. The result has matched their outstanding display today. They've won this game in such a convincing manner. And the fans will be absolutely delighted with the result, I feel. Look, that's what supporters love to see. Tremendous will and spirit, crunching tackles and a real desire to attack. Nobody can feel... Welcome to this season's UEFA Europa League opener. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty and a warm welcome to you all. Hi John, hi everyone, I'm really looking forward to this match.
with the lineups for today. Away. Play surges forward. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Well, that's been cleared. Looking to play on the break. Ah, oh, good interception, just what they needed. A rather conservative start to this contest. He's looking to find his front men. Real Madrid yet to have a shot on target. The opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. An opportunity for Pez United. Leicester does all that's asked of him there. Rüdiger, Ekobjörg. 30 minutes played, heading towards half-time and it's still scoreless. That was really close. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Rüdiger, Jakob Morak, Faisazelm, Kajajska, Ekobjörg. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Valaima. Ebochani. Rustwith. The idea was there, the execution wasn't. There is the end of the first period. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. It's nil-nil, so nothing to separate them. Valaima, Gajajska, Faisazelm plays it long. And a shot here, that's a weak shot. Well, he was so quick to respond to that, he almost made it count. Great opportunity. Looking to whip one in. Ball has been cleared. That's a throw. Maybe now. And the keeper has claimed it.
still nil-nil. It's frustrating, but very much up for grabs. Coinborough picks the ball up straight from a goal kick. Real Madrid still contemplating when to use their one remaining substitute. Forward it goes. Looking to receive the ball. Break could be on. 30 minutes played in the second half. Way. That was certainly struck well enough. This is the last of their substitutions. And there's the cross. He scores! So the deadlock broken at this late stage. The cross was inch perfect. It demanded that finish. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Real Madrid comfortably placed, one goal in front. Yeah, it's been their hard work that has got them this lead, but I just wonder whether they can keep it up. This may take a toll now. down Real Madrid just need to hold on for a few more moments by Soros a really impressive run through surely he's in good strike but straight at the keeper well, it turned out to be a decent save, although I'm not sure how much the keeper knew of it. It's all over. The referee's had enough. Well, with this performance, they've blown away any doubts surrounding how ready they really were coming into this game. I think some of the players are going to be a bit sore after that. There was so much passion and commitment out there. I can't remember anyone shirking a tackle.